Welcome, welcome. I see everybody starting to come in here. Welcome to Printing Infant and Toddler Apparel, another exciting information packed webinar from your friends here at Transfer Express. My name is Dave, and I am delighted to be joining you guys here today to talk about one of the, uh, if not the best, uh, market to really make profit packed apparel uh, and Anywhere in the apparel decorating industry, printing infant and toddler apparel is at the top of the list uh, for consistent orders and uh, just making hand over fist profit. There are a few tips and tricks to avoiding some frustration, which we're going to get in here. We'll get right into it here. A bunch of information and education we're going to go over today. So we'll talk about how you could create some artwork that sells, um, how to size your art, uh, because on there's some restrictions on onesies and uh, these little hoodies. Uh, we'll show some examples of like pajamas that uh, do restrict of uh, your printing areas a little bit. So we're going to talk about sizing your artwork. We're going to talk about how you can maximize your profit um, and really cut down on your print cost by using gang sheets. And we'll kind of dive into why infant and toddler apparel is absolutely uh, just an awesome opportunity for you. Uh, of course, some application tips. Very, very important to be nice and efficient if you're kind of printing on demand with your own uh, Etsy store, if you're running your own uh, big cartel or Shopify or online store anywhere, even if you are uh, kind of just using Facebook Marketplace um, or Facebook to promote your own business. Uh, uh, printing efficiently, quickly, and frustration-free is going to save you time, which is going to save you money and put more money back into your pockets, especially if you're not, uh, if you're misprinting garments or the transfers are falling off after one wash test. There are solutions that we could use to avoid that, and they are super. They're not at any huge cost if you're buying different platens or we're talking uh, heat presses or anything like that. Nothing like that. Super easy, quick tips. We're going to mention some wholesale suppliers and then some safety restrictions, especially that we want to adhere to um, and not put any harmful chemicals against our little ones, um, especially on clothing. That's supposed to look cool and and help them be them. And, you know, uh, I, have a, I have a toddler that's growing up now and you start to see their own little personality and their little sass. So uh, you really you really don't want to uh, put any harmful chemicals against their skin um, or near them, especially with like little babies who are always kind of chewing on their clothes and stuff. You, We're going to talk about certifications like that. So keep everybody safe. Um, it looks like even more people have, have uh, kind of joined us here. Las Vegas, Youngstown, Georgia, Utah. Oh, 40 out in Utah. They know what it's like to be cold. 70 degrees in Arizona. We all are envious. <laughs> of you, Alan. Um, we'll keep going. So we're going to roll right in here. Now, I will say, uh, before we jump too deep into creating artwork, I was kind of talking about it at the beginning, but infant and toddler apparel is just an awesome opportunity, whether you're a custom decorator or especially if you're running your own clothing brand. So think about it. Everybody's going to keep having babies all the time. Babies are going to keep growing. I mean, uh, my daughter's three, and I, I feel like she's grown 12 inches <laughs> in the past year, and they're growing out of clothing. So there's always a huge market for toddler youth baby apparel, especially when you hit uh, the specific kind of styles or silos or um, audiences or anything. Because, I mean, like right here, we, we're funny, religious, sassy, cute, uh, you, and every little kid has kind of their own different personality, uh, and even the parents too. And so the parents want them to, to look good, but you have such a wide audience, uh, which makes this such a great printing opportunity. Now, I say wide audience because it's not just parents. Uh, you're talking that any apparel for kids is great for gifts too. And all of those occasions, especially when kids are little, the uh, baby showers, the birthdays, uh, stuff like that, where you have the opportunity to, uh, you know, gift uh, custom apparel. And it's an easy gift. Uh, trust me for buying for kids that you don't really know. All you need to do, oh, they're 40. Perfect. I know they're into video games. Boom. We could whip something up or I could find something easy on Etsy. But this is this is a great tip here right off the top. 
Uh, use Pinterest for inspiration and then make it your own. As I'm talking about those those baby showers, those birthdays and stuff, those are a great opportunity too. But then you could even think uh, like seasonal. If it's uh, spring shirts for babies or fall shirts, uh, fall hoodies, and they make those little tiny hoodies. Oh my God, they're so cute. Uh, and those sell like like wildfire, like hotcakes. Um, but yeah, you're talking uh, seasonal holidays, 4th of July. Everybody wants their little kid to look great in those 4th of July photos uh, at the picnic or at the family party, uh, at the fireworks celebration. So that you could see where where the kind of, the, the limits are nowhere to be found here when we're talking about what you can make uh, toddler and infant apparel with. Um, and we're going to show you some inspiration that kind of ranges from a lot of those different uh, occasions, we'll say, to print with. So I could say, you, you know, you love you love looking at Pinterest for inspiration and I love it for that. Um, and I was just watching my wife on Pinterest just the other day. And man, it the, the entire interface looks exactly like TikTok, which is cool that more things are are fitting into this familiar kind of format. Uh, where you could save things and like them. And I've always been a big fan of Pinterest about putting it on your own boards and and saving stuff there, especially when I was coming up as a graphic designer. Uh, it was before, you know, Behance really took off or Dribble or any of those like show and tell sites. Uh, and it was so easy to get inspiration here. But the most important aspect of this is to make it your own. Try not to steal. Don't steal from people. Don't even try not to. Just don't. Don't steal from people. Um, it is, it's, you know, it, legality aside, uh, ethically, I always try to do the right thing. And while you might see something or like, trust me, I'm handsome all the time, like that shirt that's on the fourth left there, uh, you could do something along the lines of that. Try to be creative, put your own spin on it, um, and put your own spin on it for your audience. Um, you know, something similar like that, if you wanted to maybe, uh, dress up the type a little bit or put just some kind of little element of a logo behind it or make it pink and say, trust me, I'm this beautiful all the time uh, for a little girl instead of a little boy here. Um, so there's a ton of stuff in here, but just like these, like they're kind of funny sayings. That's that style, the funny. You could go with religious. Um, there's a ton of stuff that we've seen, especially in terms of uh, spiritual uh, apparel that's just been taking off, especially as you get more kind of contemporary churches. And uh, at least maybe in like the past 10 years, uh, that contemporary kind of Christian aesthetic has just been so uh, I, like, I don't want to say like hip, but man, it's been really hip. And you have some really good designers kicking out some awesome designs and the aesthetic just rocks. And I know at least uh, the, sh the shopping mall over the shopping center, we'll say it's an outdoor mall, like everything went uh, so that, you know, when we're walking around in the winter, we could be freezing. But um there is a, a store specifically for that religious apparel. And you could see just the growth in there. Uh, sassy, like I was talking about, or cute, kind of some of these um, as we go. So as you could see here, just looking at Pinterest, baby t-shirts, everything here is limited color. So one color, white ink could go on any shirt color, or you could even flip it and do that ink change with the black inks. Uh, and so you could order the same thing in black and white ink, but order the same order. Um, and we'll kind of talk about that a little bit when we go into Easy View Online Designer here in, in just a minute uh, to talk about how you could do that. You still get the quantity break for the total quantity. So say you need eight sheets of our screen printed transfers in black, eight in white, you're paying 16. So you're buying 16 total quantity and you're just paying $15 for us to wash the ink out of the screen and put it back, uh, put it back with the new, um, that brand new ink color. So uh, also full color, of course, like uh, it looks like that one on the right. If it's not all gold, there's a little bit of color in there to do multiple colors. But we have options. And I'm going to tell you about how you could do a white ink one color or a full color and still have plenty of opportunity for you to make profit and make printing these uh, toddler and youth and baby T-shirts all worthwhile. So um, don't go anywhere. We got a lot of stuff going on. And we're even going to talk about, as we're talking about full color, we're going to talk about our Ultra Color Max. That is our brand new direct-to-film transfer. No minimum quantities, no minimum sizing. And you could go from a quarter inch all the way up to 22 by 22 inches as a single image or a gang sheet. You only pay 
per square inch. So you're only paying for what you need. Um, and while there is an order minimum on TransferExpress.com of $25, uh, a 22 by 22 sheet at six cents per square inch is putting you right over that $25 minimum threshold. So you could fit a ton of stuff on there. Um, we do have an application video out on our YouTube right now. If you want to see how easy that applies, um, it's really cool. I love it. Um, it is just perfect for those lower pieces, the limited limited edition drops uh, if you run your own clothing brand or prototyping or uh, you, if a customer just needs one or two off. Think of it as a super affordable alternative to direct to garment. So if you've been thinking about buying a direct to garment printer um, and you don't really want to dump the 10 grand or two grand or 25 grand or $250,000 on whatever direct to garment printer you're going to buy, there is no maintenance with this. They these transfers come ready to apply. There's no weeding. Um, they are a light, soft hand feel, especially when you uh, don't really put them in block areas like this text. You would barely be able to feel that on the garment. Uh, really cool. And if you're interested about it, we are dropping it on Transfer Express next week. It's available on stalls.com right now if you're uploading your own art. But if you are used to using our Easy View Online Designer, which is a absolutely free, super powerful online design tool that's available, uh, all you need is a Transfer Express account, and it is 100% free to use to design t-shirts and mock-up t-shirts. Um, but yes, that's on transferexpress.com. And if you're using that uh, to order your transfers, you will be able to order Ultra Color Max through Easy View Online Designer next week. So it is coming. Very, very, very exciting. Um, so yes, 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 yes. I'm very excited about that. I see you guys chatting along in there. I do have a helper behind the scenes. Mike is in there chatting as Stalls Transfer Express. So if you have any questions whatsoever, Mike will be there and uh, will will try to answer your questions as fast as he can. Um, and if I see him in there too, as we are going, um, we will uh, we will uh, go ahead and try to answer them for you as well. But that's the beauty of these interactive webinars is that you guys are able to ask questions. You can say, hey, wait, hold up, stop. I, I have this question before you go any farther um, and, um, and, and we could answer it. So uh, like Cindy asks right now, do you have a comparison video between the Max and Ultra Color? So we do not have a video quite yet. We will be diving into kind of like a what to use when, because you can essentially use Ultra Color Max to replace every kind of transfer type we have. However, it's seriously going to cut into your profit margins because it's six cents per square inch flat rate. So if you're doing a little bit more, I think the it might even be like 12 quantity with the goof proof. If you're doing a 11 by 14 inch graphic, it's going to be cheaper per piece. Um, even with a gang sheet, then it's even cheaper uh, on our screen printed transfers. But uh, at like 12 or 16 quantity, it really starts to shift over and goof proof is much more affordable, uh, at least for the limited color, one, two color designs full color designs, of course, then you're competing with that ultra color. But uh, Cindy, we don't have a video, but I could kind of mention that it is very, very similar of a hand feel on the garment. The ultra color soft is that matte soft texture that is much uh, more premium of a feel, but the ultra color max does not have a clear outline. It is a uh, nice crisp, hard edges that you're able to put on there. No clear outline with the adhesive around it. Uh, although with the ultra color, with a two-step press, if you, after you're done, when you peel cold, uh, you cover it and press again. Uh, those those outlines really kind of sink into the garment on darker colors. And the single press on lighter colors, you could you could barely even see that outline unless you get up real close to it. But there's no clear outline. And the best thing about Ultra Color Max is it is a hot peel. And when I say hot peel, it feels like butter peeling right off that garment. It's so ultra super smooth and a single app single application, uh, 290 degrees. So like it's even low, low temperature, but we'll get into it in a little bit here um, as we go. Um, Amanda, yes, we'll be sending out a PDF copy of the slides. And I saw somebody in there ask as well uh, if they have... Um, if, if we will be sending out the slides and if this is going to be recorded. And yes, it will be recorded and we will send out the slides. We will send out uh, the replay of this to anybody who registered for the webinar, whether you attended or not. But we'll send you the replay of this. Uh, so if you're just joining us late, don't worry about trying to rewind or get back in there. Uh, we'll send you it so you could check out the first uh, 15 minutes here uh, before we really kind of dove into this stuff. We did stall for a little bit, waiting for uh, some friends to join us and make sure everybody's with us as we keep keep going. So 
um, Joe, Joe's here. Joe's here. He's with us today. Um, and that's awesome to see. So let's start talking about uh, actually creating the artwork in the Easy View Online Designer, kind of like I mentioned. So if you're unfamiliar with Transfer Express, we are very proud of our ultra powerful online design tool here where you do not need any graphic design or talent or art experience, or you don't have to be a wizard at Photoshop or Illustrator, uh, the, uh, the Corel Draw, anything like that. It is so super easy and powerful uh, with preloaded layouts, clip art, uh, and all the tools you need to really put your or uh, put your own touch on very popular graphics that are actually going to sell. So what we do with our artwork catalog, um, and we have our entire catalog available. You could look through everything. You could search. Um, and we also have... Um, we also have a our marketing kit, which has our idea book, which is a printed out version that you browse uh, when you're not by your computer. Or if you are running a custom decorating business, you could hand the entire catalog of art over to a customer and to say, go ahead and browse. Show me which style you like or what artwork you like in here, and we could customize it for you and your business. So the beauty of it is that you really can uh, take any of our layouts, which our layouts, uh, we have an entire staff of graphic designers who put up our uh, new artwork up on the Easy View online designer every single week. And we take requests too. So if you don't see artwork or clip art uh, that, that maybe you're doing a lot of, uh, yeah, like baby stuff and you're like, I need a nice cartoony looking kind of like diaper or something. And we don't have one up in the clip art selection. All you have to do is drop us a line, info at transferexpress.com, drop us an email um, and we'll put it right to the top of the list. We take customer requests, but that staff of graphic designers is constantly looking at trends, uh, looking at retail stores, um, which is when I was talking about going to Pinterest, uh, that is another place that you could find great inspiration. Just go to Old Navy, go to Macy's, walk through the toddler and baby section, see what uh, they have the most stock of, see what they don't have stock of, or what's what's limited, what's featured, because that's going to help drive trends. And that's a lot what, what our, our design team does as well, because we want to equip you guys with the trending designs, the trending styles, the uh, you know, the trending aesthetics that are that are popular now, because that's what's going to help you sell more apparel. So just like this baby vibes uh, rainbow, if that's a layout, all you have to do is double click on that text. You could change the text. You could change the colors of anything in that rainbow. Or if you don't like the rainbow and you wanted to put a unicorn, bam, all you have to do is click on it, replace the clip art, search unicorn or whatever you want to replace it with, and just easily drop in that new clip art. It is so easy to use Easy View Online Designer that even as a trained, I went to college for graphic design, as a, as a trained professional graphic designer um, and known as the, the t-shirt guy by my family and friends, I will go to Easy View Online Designer to browse the layouts and easily pull something up so that I could send somebody a mock-up in two minutes instead of 20 minutes in Illustrator. Even if it's super simple and I'm going real fast, um, two minutes in Easy View Online Designer, they could have a proof all ready to go. And then I could just order the transfers right there. There's no uploading. And with the pricing structure that we have, of course, if you use our art, all of it is already pre-ready to, to print for a screen printing. Uh, and so it rolls through at the cheapest price. We call that our Easy Prints pricing. Then of course, if you're uploading your own vector artwork, that's the next pricing tier. It's just super easy to run right through prep and burn it right onto the screens for screen printing. And of course we do have our raster uploads. So if you do have a PNG, a JPEG, something you stole from the internet that's not necessarily print ready, have no fear. We will take care of it for you. And even if you are uploading your own art here in Easy View Online Designer, if it's vector, you could easily ungroup and remove elements or uh, like I was doing a Ohio graphic and had a little icon inside the shape of Ohio, and I brought it in, I imported it from, from Adobe Illustrator, brought it into uh, Easy View Online Designer, and you could ungroup the object then and pull each one out. So the little element that I had inside the shape of Ohio, I just turned into a left chest print, and then the shape of Ohio was the big uh, full back print. And it was super easy to do that uh, in Easy View Online Designer. So if you ever had a uh, maybe you went to Fiverr and purchased a logo. You had somebody create you a logo and they gave you a vector format, but you want to say, I want to remove the text from the logo and just print the logo. You don't need to hire a graphic designer or download Photoshop or 
uh, some bootleg of Creative Cloud to be able to try to do that. Bring it into EasyV Online Design. And you can easily separate it out when you're ordering your transfers. Uh, you could also order stickers right here in EasyV Online Designer as well, our custom decals. And yes, of course, uh, our full color, that Ultra Color Max that I was just talking about, that's going to be in there soon too. So preloaded with 12,000 pieces of clip art, 7,500 layouts, and the that list is growing every single week. Um, I know uh, on our Facebook page, if you are not part of the Easy Prince Dealers community on Facebook, it's an awesome community where everybody's chatting about uh, custom transfers and running uh, their own small, uh, you know, t-shirt shops from their homes or their workshops or uh, talking about what styles to find, or especially when everything was out of stock and kind of still is out of stock everywhere. Uh, hey, where could I find those Richardson 112 hats? Or does anybody know where I could find this colorway? Uh, or hey, do you guys have any local area suppliers that I could look into? I'm in a pinch and need a, a Gildan 1800 heavyweight hoodie in black. Do you know where I could buy them? And somebody chimes in and goes, is there a Hobby Lobby near you? Because you could buy them there. And then it's saving the day. So if you are an Active Transfer Express customer, you can uh, go to the Easy Prince Dealers Group is exactly what it's called. Search it on Facebook, Easy Prince Dealers Group, uh, and request to join that. It's, it's only for Transfer Express customers too. So there's no spam. It's the best community of helpful content in there. Uh, I think I just saw today, there's like eight posts a day. So it's not like going to take over your Facebook feed, but it's going to put you in tune with other decorators that are more than willing to help. Someone goes in there and asks one question and like immediately there's eight responses of people trying to help. I absolutely love, love, love the community. But I mentioned the Easy Print Dealers group because uh, somebody just the other day was saying, hey, I need some snowmobile designs. Uh, you guys don't have a lot of clip art in there. And I'm doing a lot of custom work for a, uh, a company that does snowmobile and side by side and ATV tours. Well, what is our graphic design department working on today? They are working on getting some new ATV clip art up there and snowmobiles. I'm telling you, just ask. And we are here to support you at Transfer Express. Our number one mission, of course, is making cool transfers and that are going to represent your brand well. But our number one mission is to help you and your T-shirt business succeed. We are uh, we want to be the resource for you and anything we could do to help, let us know because we could build it in. If, and if it's going to help you, odds are it's going to help other T-shirt decorators, too. Um, yes. So Greg, Greg said, Sue, there'll be no more customers and we'll all be decorators. <laughs> and that definitely seems uh, that I wouldn't say it ever it ever gets to that. It's like the uh, the old, uh, you know, like the oh, am I going to buy a hamburger from McDonald's or am I going to buy uh, some buns and ketchup and meat and lettuce and then end up spending forty dollars at the grocery store <laughs> just trying to make a hamburger when you could go buy it for for, for five bucks or whatever. Um, and that is true. But we did see this huge boom, especially when the pandemic first set in uh, and people losing their jobs or, you know, losing their entire careers, their livelihoods. And they've always had a dream to run their own business or start their own clothing brand. And they've been, you know, creative and they, they love the trends and they love the fashion and they were able to actually do it. And then we've seen those businesses take that from 2020. And even though the, maybe their jobs came back, they said, nah, I'm having a great time working from home. I'm having a great time spending time with my family and actually uh, doing what I love. And that is what we're all about. We love to empower entrepreneurs and small businesses just like that. And Easy View Online Designer is just one small portion of uh, you know what we do here at Transfer Express. So I saw somebody mention gang sheets there in the chat. I was trying to scroll through here and see if I could find it. Um, oh, Anthony, having a problem configuring sizes of my artwork on the gang sheet. Yeah, so an easy view online designer, if you upload your own art or use our own art, you can easily size it around. Now, the only thing that gets a little weird sometimes is if, um, say, you're using a PNG or a JPEG that has a large like background, like the, the actual image is on a white background and the white background has wide margins on it and you just have one tiny little element in there, it's going to read that entire PNG as that background as well unless you remove it in the image editor but have no fear because if that happens to you you could always use the uploader tool on the site 
and send it to us as well and say, I want to gang it up with these images. And we have an art department that will help you with that for absolutely nothing. Uh, it is a $20 fee for a proof if you would like to see a proof. But if you just need us to arrange them on the gang sheet for you, we absolutely could do that. Um, it's super easy to do. And you could get that automatic proof uh, for, for free here in Easy View Online Designer. But if you do run into an issue like that, just let us know and we will be here to help you. Um, if you're talking about which sizes do you need for specific shirts, uh, we do have our on our YouTube page, we have the entire uh, kind of the, the different sizing and how you could visualize and mock up sizing yourself, uh, which is really super powerful. But we have tons of con uh, content and information, educational, inspirational videos on our YouTube page. Just search Transfer Express and you'll see my beautiful face <laughs> on some of those videos. Um, and yeah, we just want to empower you with as much knowledge as possible. One of my favorite things about Easy View Online Designer is using the gang sheet, like we talked about. Uh, uh, um, no, uh, have purchased a heat transfer to gain access to the site. Any purchase with Transfer Express. So it is for active customers of Transfer Express uh, to be able to gain access to that group. Um, yes, uh, name of the Facebook group is Easy Prince Dealers Group. Um, and so uh, we might be able to link to it here behind the scenes. Um, but yes, you don't, you, you must have any purchase from Transfer Express, be it a, um, a color selector kit, a marketing kit, anything like that counts. It's not a custom heat transfer or a heat press. You don't have to buy either one of those. Um, it, just any purchase to be an active customer. Um, and maybe, I, I don't know if we changed it, but it used to be like 30 days. Within your first 30 days, you're still considered an active customer of starting your account. Um, but you could, I could double check on that for you and get back to you. But when we talk about Easy View Online Designer, um, let me see if we could go back here. Uh, so you could see the sheet size here on the right hand side. It's like a dotted gray line. That's going to show you your sheet size when you're setting up your custom screen printed transfers. Now, gang sheets, essentially, if you're unfamiliar, they are the grouping of the same or different artworks. Uh, on the same sheet that's printing. So what you'll do is you'll you'll find common colors, especially when we're talking about screen printing, um, like this one on the bottom. It is purple and pink, two colors, and we're using those two colors on all of these graphics. Now those are completely different graphics, but you could fit nine different complete graphics on the same sheet. And you're only paying for the sheet. You're not paying for the amount of ink you use or the amount of space you use. You're paying for an 11 and a quarter inch by 14 inch sheet. Also coming out next week is our jumbo sheet size. So even bigger than that 11 and a quarter by 14 inches, it's 12 and a half inches by 17 and a half inches jumbo gang sheets. So those are available with Goof Proof, Hot Split, and um, our Elastoprints transfers, the popular three screen printed transfers. But this is where you could really pack on the profit when we're talking about screen printed uh, apparel. This is really where, uh, you know, you if, you're, if your entire sheet price is $4 uh, for this two color, you say you're buying 20 something of them. Let me do the math real quick with uh, nine different designs. And what did I say? $4 per sheet. Uh, so four divided by nine each design. Each print on there is 44 cents. That's incredible, absolutely incredible to be offering a two color screen print for 44 cents. Then you're talking, you're, you're at least doubling the garment cost and the transfer cost. Uh, and for a onesie like that, if that onesie is $4 and you're $4.44 for a onesie, you could sell that for 10 bucks and you're making more than your entire investment. You're making your investment back and doubling it. If you're selling that for 10 bucks, which is just th that's the profit margin that I'm talking about with these little pieces of apparel, the babies, the toddlers, that that sheet up top for 12 months, all 12 months on the same sheet on our ultra color or ultra color max transfers. You can see how much money we're talking here. It doesn't take much to sell them. There's always babies out there. Um, Morel, I hope I pronounced that right. Screen print ink, eco friendly child safe. We're going to get into that in just a little bit, but uh, spoiler alert, yes. <laughs> spoiler alert, it's this, the not all uh, screen print inks, not all Plastisol inks are uh, child safe. Excuse me, but um, the, the ones that we use are. So uh, what process uh, is this? So up top is our Ultra Color Soft. That is our Ultra Color Soft gang sheets. And down below, is our goofproof screen printed transfers uh you see in the limited color 
But what design process we are using, we are using EasyView Online Designer. Both the upper sheet and the lower sheet uh, were both designed in EasyView Online Designer using the clip art, the fonts, the text, um, all of the tools that we have in there. There's even like skew to tools and you could add effects and distressing or patterns. I'm saying it is, I've yet to find another online designer, paid or free. I have yet to find another online designer that is as powerful as EasyView Online Designer. Hands down. For designing t-shirts, there is no easier way. If you have no skills whatsoever, you can't draw a stick figure, I guarantee you that you could make artwork that is in demand, on trend, and will actually sell. And I will guarantee that. I will shake your hand and guarantee you that EasyView Online Designer will give you the tools at your fingertips to be able to make awesome looking designs customized for your brand, your customer's brand. If you're doing custom decorating or your city or businesses around you, you're able to create in there. Um, if you have TikTok, I did a TikTok video uh, just a couple months ago. Uh, my my friend in the office here challenged me to, to recreate as many uh, corporate and well-known logos as I could in EasyView Online Designer, and I did it. There wasn't a single one that I was not able to recreate using elements and fonts and layouts that are already in EasyView Online Designer. Now, definitely, you don't want to be printing those. Uh, you're going to run into some copyright infringement on that, but I did just want to show off how powerful of a design tool uh, EasyView is, whether you're creating your own custom stuff or you are... Um, you know, you're just you're just trying to to stay uh, on trend and just kick out artwork nice, quick, and easy. So when we're using the gang sheets, one of the beauties, like I mentioned earlier, is the sizing of uh, the infant and youth apparel. Now you can see here uh, for a newborn onesie on the right hand side. Um, the maximum area. So that entire front area, we're talking all the way down from those buttons that loop right around the diaper to the top collar uh, for a newborn is seven and a half inches wide by 11 and a half inches high. So we're talking, that's pretty big, but you're not maxing out the printing area on this. Most of the time you're trying to match what like a print would look like on a, uh, on like a uh, relatively, we're saying for like a t-shirt, and so like a center chest graphic is commonly around that three to four and a half inch range, we'll say. Um, the rule of thumb that I've always used for uh, especially onesies like this one picture here is no larger than four and a half. Because what you want to do, you can max out this print area. So like a 24 month, that's a two year old still wearing a onesie here, which is fine. Uh, I love the ease of just slapping my daughter into them <laughs> as much as I can, um, you know, as long as I can uh, before you have to start worrying about pants and then they start taking their own pants off and it's a nightmare. You parents out there, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Um, and so, uh, yeah, like that one, 11 and, and three quarters inches by 15 and a half. Now you're not maxing out that printing area on the front panel of that onesie. You're still staying in that uh, four four and a half inch range to make it look, uh, you know, proportionate like it's a regular printed t-shirt. Uh, any larger than that, you're really going to get near uh, those buttons on the bottom to button that onesie up. Uh, the the sleeves, the collar, uh, the seams, and especially some of those onesies kind of have the flaps where you could pull the onesie down and pull the child out of them out of the, the neck hole at the top through the collar. So those seams on the shoulders uh, that fold over get in the way as well when you're printing. You want a nice, consistent, smooth, even printing surface, uh, which we're going to get more in depth on, you know, uh, in just a couple minutes of how you could achieve that super, super easily. But you do want to stay away from those seams. You want a nice, flat, even pressure. Uh, and then printing over any of those seams with any kind of transfer is going to impact the result that you get on that transfer. So you just want to eliminate them. Uh, you could, of course, buy super expensive platens, but we got an awesome uh, money-saving and frustration-saving tip coming up here in just a minute. So let's get into some inspiration here. I kind of teased this. And, um, yeah, Nick, he says, yes, we know <laughs> for sure. I see everybody in there. Yeah. Jacqueline. Yeah. We, we, everybody here at stalls, our mission is to help you guys out and help your business succeed, uh, without your success. I mean, we're not successful. 
Um, and so we want to see you live out your dreams. Um, and I love being on the road at the trade shows. Uh, it, we have impressions in Long Beach coming up next week. I love getting out there and, and hearing you guys, hearing your challenges, your solutions, uh, and then the success stories too. That was one thing being out on the road here this past uh, this past event season over the summer uh, in 21 is just hearing those the stories of those people who who did lose their jobs and they found their passion uh, and they've been incredibly successful more than they ever could have imagined. Um, or talking with some of the creators on like TikTok who uh, just started making tutorials on how to make, uh, you know, mugs or, um, you know, decorated tumblers or T-shirts. And they just showed people and now they blew up. They went from two orders a week to 2000 uh, and they're living their dream six figure incomes that they never thought were possible, literally running their business out of their bedroom. I love hearing those stories. I can't get enough of them. But let's jump into some inspiration here and I'll show you what the gang sheet looks like. I'll show you what the finished uh, onesie looks like as well. So when I'm talking about seams, if you could get up close, it's a little dark, but on that onesie, there is kind of like a seam directly across the chest. So you're going to want to stay at least a half inch away from that to make sure that you're not having any issues with your pressure. Um, here on the gang sheet, a nice big lucky graphic. That's probably, if I was to eyeball it, I'd say it's probably about eh, 10 inches by 8 inches or so, maybe a little bit more. Um, yeah, maybe 10 inches by 8 inches. You have the huge Cleveland text then, um, that curved text that's going on a full back at probably 12 inches wide. And then this tiny little Menor football, uh, future Menor Cardinals football player which ended up here on this onesie as what looks like to be at that four and a half by four and a half inch print area like I was talking about. On to the next one here. This is a great example of uh, mixing like colors together. So there's this, uh, I'm going to say that's like eggplant and cyan, um, but here for Classic Not Old, that's Dan's 50th birthday party. Uh, you can mix then all of these little elements on there as well. So it looks like, you know, all three of those uh, on the right-hand side fit some kind of uh, uh, youth, uh, youth apparel um, on the right-hand side. And it has that nice kind of, uh, uh, what do they call it? It's not quite cottage core, but it is very um, outdoorsy and kind of the boho aesthetic, I think. I might have got that wrong. <laughs> but and then you're doing shirts for a birthday party as well. And you're sharing the gang sheet, which when I'm doing custom printing, I am charging my customer for all of that sheet, regardless if they're using it at all or not. Because usually if, say, that entire sheet was four bucks, like we'll just use the same pricing scenario we used earlier. Ballpark, this sheet is $4. I'll charge them $4 for the printing. And then uh, if they're doing, you know, uh, next level 3,600 garment or a Gildan 5,000 or something, I'm charging them for the garment. And I'm charging two times on everything. So if that's $4 for the garment, let's say uh, $4 for the print, that's $8. And they're getting a couple of them, you know, then that's at least $16 that I'm charging them for a custom printed shirt. Uh, which is well within the, rain, the, the realm uh, uh, and for pricing on a custom printed shirt at low quantity, 16 bucks is quite a steal. If you go find a direct to garment printer or go try to go to Amazon and buy one off of your own custom stuff, uh, it's $25 or more. Um, and so really, if you're doing one off, this is going to be, you know, maybe we'll switch over to the Ultra Color Max and not print a, a goof proof screen printed order that has a farmhouse. Yep. Yep. Um, a uh yeah, <laughs> Rebecca in there commenting uh, farmhouse for the aesthetic that I was looking for. Um, and so, uh, yeah, uh, uh, Maomar, Matt, Matt, um, uh, two times everything is usually what I like when we're talking about cost, uh, cost and pricing for your customers. That is what I feel comfortable doing. If I can't make uh, whatever it costs back, plus, you know, an, another cost of it. So cost times two, we'll say. So if I'm not making, let's say 200% of my initial investment back, it's not worth my time. Um, and a lot of other t-shirt decorators figure that out as well. Uh, at least when you go say price the same thing over at custom Inc and you're sending your, um, uh, you're sending, you know, you want to make sure that your pricing falls in line with the industry. I always go over to Custom Inc. They're one of the largest custom decorators uh, of, of printed apparel uh, in the United States, at least. And so I'll judge the pricing against them. And 99% of the time, cost times two using screen printed transfers for any quality, quantity on any type of garment is cheaper 
than what Custom Ink is charging, uh, usually by just a couple bucks. So if you could undercut one of the largest national retailers of custom screen printed apparel, I don't even want to say screen printed because I know they do direct to garment on a lot of stuff, which the quality is not as good as Plastisol inks. I'm a Plastisol ink lover through and through, but that's my history in the uh, in the apparel decorating industry. So as long as you could do that, um, you could you could definitely, um, yeah, you could definitely make profit on that. But I'm charging my customer for the full sheet. So all this extra stuff on the side, I'm charging the other customer who's buying these onesies that same $4. And so that's $8 for a onesie, 16 bucks for a custom printed onesie, completely acceptable. Now, if you're running your own brand, you kind of have to look at the retail price. And in some cases, it's a little bit less than cost times two. And in some cases, it's much more than cost times two. It all depends on the quantity that you're ordering, especially when we're talking about screen printing. Here's another use of the gang sheet that I love because this is super unique. You could use the gifted from birth <clears throat> on its own a uh, piece of apparel. And then this big portion on the bottom you could use to fill out the rest of the sheet. I believe this one specifically was 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 uh, printed in puff inks. And so uh, that gives you that nice dimensional raised printing, uh, which is available on gang sheets as well. So if you have multiple customers wanting uh, just, oh, I want white puff inks, easy. Put it all on one gang sheet if it all fits um, or do some different stuff here. So like the gifted from birth, uh, if you're only using one of those per uh, per uh, little dress like this, super, super easy that you could just cut out that other gifted from birth and put it on T-shirts or put it on a onesie, put it on anything in there. So that's super easy. Uh, Rebecca, I saw that comment in there. That is absolutely awesome. Price everything at the largest, most expensive one and use that as the base price. So when we're talking like extra large, yes, that's a great way to protect your profit margin and a great tip. Thank you so much for sharing. Cindy, we're going to talk about where you could get these dresses in just a couple minutes uh, here at the end. I have some wholesale vendors uh, that we absolutely love. We ran into them at uh, the one show was the Everything Embroidery Market and the pricing that they have is just awesome. <laughs> just perfect because you could really make a profit on them. And the styles that they have are so stinking cute. And I feel fully confident saying that. I, I'm not, uh, I wouldn't say I'm like the super most fashionable guy. Um, and if I was dressing my daughter solely, um, uh, where there would be a problem. <laughs> but I, I'm grateful for my wife for that. But um, I know that, that, you know, I see the cute stuff that she wears and I would love to have them wear these ones. So this is another same same photo here, just the, the other style of apparel. This is using our um, pearl prints, which have this nice metallic shimmer in the inks, still a Plastisol ink, just a nice uh, little effect finish in here. Um, and so this is it. So you see uh, once upon a time, little feet, little hands, little baby. Um, and don't hurry, be happy, uh, love, trust, and pixie dust, which made it on this little purple dress that goes up that, that uh, out-of-the-box placement. You could get that on these little dresses and get fun, get creative, get unique with it, um, and get it all up there as, you know, you the the... There are no limits here. We're talking like I'm. I'll say it again and again and over and over that with uh with screen printed transfers and youth apparel, you have so much room to to really find out what works, what looks good, um, and what looks unique. Like what little girl wouldn't look great in that little little purple dress with the the shimmery shiny pearl prints? And everything's guaranteed to fifty washes. So if they got spaghetti sauce on it and you really got a scrub on it, you're not going to worry about damaging that print uh, like you would maybe if you're using vinyl or if you're using um, sublimate, not, I wouldn't say so much sublimation because not a lot of these are polyester uh, garments. So you're not going to be sublimating too much on it, but direct to garment, direct to garment. If you scrub at that direct to garment print, that's going to pull right off. It doesn't fix quite like a uh, Plastisol ink does. Here's another one. Look how many of the same design was able to fit up on this gang sheet. You got four full prints on each sheet. So if that's $4 per sheet, which it's only one color now, so we're going to talk, this is probably less than $4. Evelyn loves the gang sheets. That's right. Love the gang sheets too. And here, the <laughs> I see what you did. The pun, there's the love, start them young, and <laughs> we'll start the, the love of the gang sheets young here too. Um, but just like this, love, start them young. You have four on a sheet 
if it's four dollars per sheet, which that's like twelve quantity at this thing, like super low quantity, you're getting a one color for about four bucks a sheet. That's one dollar per print. Say the dress is, uh, you know, what three dollars blank or something, like four dollars to make this. You're selling this retail for sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, twenty bucks maybe. Um, I don't buy a lot of uh, youth apparel. Uh, but I have seen the price tags on some of the stuff my daughter, my wife buys my daughter. And holy cow, <laughs> you're able to make a healthy profit if you are getting the pricing here. I like the cost on this printing. Yes, you could definitely be making it. This is an awesome use here of the gang sheet for a whole bunch of different graphics. And just like I was saying, if you are doing uh, the youth apparel, everything is so small. So you could fit uh, tons and tons of art on this thing, um, which is just absolutely incredible. 12 total designs here on this one and the little gamer. You put the little space invaders and you see that we've used three total pieces from this gang sheet on this one apparel. Um, and so it, it definitely is. Uh, it, it's definitely super, super, uh, you know, just profit making. And with all of those extra decoration uh placements that you have the power then to charge a little bit more. It's not just a single placement. Uh, it's something unique. It, it's fully decorated. This is retail ready stuff um, that you would have no problem taking to like uh, a small local shop in your area and going, hey, would you be, would you mind, you know, are you guys looking for local vendors? Because there's tons, at least here in Cleveland, uh, small little boutique shops that take local vendors and will sell local vendor stuff. And it's the same people selling on Etsy that are just able to put it in a storefront and get those impulse buys uh, when somebody sees it. Oh, no, little Johnny loves playing games. Uh, and oh, the game over on the butt flap. It's so cute. I can't pass this up. It's the right size. I got to get it. And looking at how much you can put on here, the little unicorns, the extra controllers, and we fit that level up graphic with the controller twice on this gang sheet. One little Space Invader uh, line of people. Space Invaders? Galaga? Uh, I don't know. So maybe someone could correct me what it is. That one is definitely a gray alien. <laughs> Not so much a space invader. The candy canes, ho, 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 oh no. If say you were putting the candy canes on that left chest placement on the uh, on the onesie or this this pajama set and then on the on the butt flap on the back, it says, ho, ho, ho oh no. Like so super cute. Now this one specifically, um, that, that butt flap is not functional, but it is totally super cute and it gives the whole vibe for this uh, this kind of pajama set for the holidays or for, you know, little gamers or somebody, a little girl who likes unicorns and then put the peace sign on the butt or the, uh, the, the, the hand given the peace sign. There's tons of stuff that you could do uh, or the wild child, maybe <laughs> that's more fitting for my daughter. I hope she never grows up and listens to these. <laughs> But let's talk about that new Ultra Color Max a little bit. I know I kind of spilled the beans about it early on, but when you can't fill a full gang sheet, they're perfect for small orders. We're talking you are uh, buying it per square inch, and it's just six cents per square inch. It is just super powerful for when you are doing those limited quantities, the prototyping, uh, or maybe trying to find what sizing works the best for a really super picky customer or trying out some different colorways. It's just a great, super affordable product. But yeah, when you start getting into the higher quantities, six cents per square inch, say you're doing like a, a I'll just simplify it, a 10 by 10 graphic. Uh, so like a, an adult full chest graphic, uh, 10 by 10 at six cents per square inch is going to be like $6 a print. Which if you have limited color on that, GoofProof is going to allow you so much more profit opportunity than paying $6 for the print. Where GoofProof, like we saw, uh, with smaller prints could be as low as a dollar a print for like with that love graphic that was repeated four times. Or even if you're just doing like a left chest or something that's much smaller uh, and, and much cheaper, you could fit much more on a gang sheet. But if you are doing super, super small quantities where maybe the low quantity of the GoofProof or screen printed transfers uh, is just a little too pricey for your profit margin, that's where Max is really going to fit in here. The one thing I love about it, it's easy to apply, has that hot peel like I mentioned earlier, and it's low temperature. So if you're printing on heat sensitive fabrics, uh, anything like that, uh, it's 290 degrees, 12 to 15 seconds, um, and bam, it's it's a hot peel, super, super easy. Uh, so like the synthetic fabrics in this like unicorn. Now these are specifically made for embroidery. So the, the stuffing inside is more or less like a pillow and you just unzip uh, right on the bottom end pull the pillow out, you could hoop it um, or fit it onto a platen, um, and then boom, you're all set, ready to go uh, on that one. 
So uh, that unicorn synthetic material, no questions whatsoever, no worries about scorching it or doing anything like that. Now we're talking application tips. I saw when we were in there, somebody had mentioned in the chat section that they're thinking about not doing onesies anymore because they are such a hassle to print. Now, this is the easiest and cheapest way to do it. This is a absolute must to have these mouse pads on hand if you are doing onesies. Now, of course, you could buy a little tiny six by 10 platen. Uh, I like the little, I think it's the eight inch round bagger uh, for the uh, Hotronics platen, the quick change platens. You could buy those as well. Now, those are a little pricey. Um, a mouse pad is $3. And so if you need to cut it up even smaller to fit in a sleeve, like on those uh, on that pajama set that we saw with the Space Invaders on it, just slide that little trimming of the mouse pad up the sleeve. You could custom cut it to your specific size for the graphic that you're decorating and bam, put it right up next to that seam on the cuff. And you have the power of that. Uh, you, you know, you have the power of the printing to make it easy, frustration free, and then make sure you're getting that nice, firm, flat surface uh, that you could really get into. Now, a lot of people say that they use heat printing pillows. Um, and so, um, yes, yeah, Rebecca just commenting about the heat pressing pillows. Yes, the mouse pad does replace the heat printing pillow. Now, the heat printing pillows are great when you're using vinyl or anything that requires medium pressure. But once you start getting into the firm pressure, it is impossible to achieve that firm pressure that screen printed transfers require with a pillow. It just softens and dissipates the pressure too much. Uh, even when you really crank the pressure down, uh, it, then you're not having enough room for the seam to fit in as all of that pillow is compressing. Where the mouse pad raises the print area where you're printing, letting all the seams and collars and buttons and snaps and anything else uh, fall off the printing area. So you're just, it's essentially a smaller platen size for uh, the item that you're printing. $3, easy to cut up. These are made specifically for sublimation, but we're not sublimating on them. But that white face, uh, make sure that nothing transfers. If you have some old mouse pads sitting around that are just the cloth mouse pads at home, you could use those. But be careful if they have any decoration on them or they're colored because sometimes the dye in there, when you expose that to heat, it will migrate to the fabric or the, even the inks of what you're printing. So uh, just that's why we have these white ones. They're available on TransferExpress.com. Uh, they come in our brand new application kit, which we'll be releasing next week. Um, or, yeah, you can buy packs of them on Amazon. Pick them up. If you're heat printing, uh, you don't have to buy them from us. We have them for three bucks, so they're super cheap. Buy a pack of them anywhere that you could get them, and you are going to thank yourself. Um, of course, uh, if you have a transfer order in uh, at Transfer Express, you can easily, easily add it to your order for $3 uh, and not have to pay any sheep shipping or anything else. Uh, yeah, had to put three pieces of a mouse pad together to fill the gap in a hat, and it works. Yeah, stalls uh, Transfer Express, Takina. Transfer Express sells these. Yep, uh, and I see Mike, our helper behind the scenes, went in there and added that one up as well. So, of course, with application tips, we want to make sure you're getting the right transfer product. Uh, how many colors are you using? What apparel material fabric are you using? And what's the quantity that you need? Uh, we do have a transfer selector tool, which is a little screenshot here on the right-hand side with Heather. Uh, that's Heather there with the heat press. Um, that will help you decide if you do not know. 90% of the time, if you're doing limited color, it's goofproof. If you're printing on heat sensitive material and you want that screen printed look and feel, it's gonna be elastoprints at 290 degrees. If you're doing anything full color, um, you're gonna wanna do ultra color. And so that is great for potent for cotton, cotton, <laughs> cotton, polyester, cotton poly blends, um, even some tri blends, and uh, then the ultra color max fits in there as well. We do have ultra color stretch if you're doing any spandex or lycra. Uh, usually toddler and youth baby apparel does not have spandex and lycra in there um, for any of that. Now we're going to talk about baby safe and certification. So all of the inks and products that we have at Transfer Express are CPSIA certified. So that is the Consumer Product Safety Improvement Act. And it just ensures that there is no harmful chemicals uh, in the inks or in the fabrics that are, go that are irritants for the skin. Um, of course, there are those very, very, very rare uh, plastic allergies. And in which case, Plastisol ink, is there's plastic in it. It's oil-based. Um, and so there, it, it will react to people who are allergic to plastic, but for the 90, whatever, 8.9% of the population, there is absolutely no harm. You could rub Plastisol inks other than being a complete mess. 
<laughs> you can rub them all over your skin. You're going to have no problem. And here at Transfer Express, there is uh, there's no uh, no reason for us to uh, have any worry about it. Now, we only uh, carry inks that are not uh, that are not, uh, the prop 65 in California. So we used to color cover, uh, I think we had a, a color called watermelon and it was a red, it was pigmented with cadmium, which is a carcinogen known to the state of California to cause cancer. We have since discontinued that color. So all of our colors are safe. And, uh, as far as we know, and as far as the scientists know, uh, non, uh, cancer causing. And we also do uh, certifications, independent testing every single year to ensure that we uh, still are updated with our certification and that all of our inks and products, the digital printing, the adhesive powders that we use are all safe to use uh, on human beings. We are we all wear clothes and that's what we're doing. We want to keep everybody safe, especially our little ones. Um, Yes, uh, the CPSIA uh, certification is available on our website if you want to use that to say that you are doing it. Um, there are some legal rules where like if you want to actually say like we are certified, you have to get uh, updated and certified yourself, uh, even if you are a reseller of other products. But if you want that confidence to show your customers and say, yes, the inks that I am putting on this garment are CPSIA certified, you absolutely could point to our certification and say, these are the manufacturer or these, you know, these are the, the vendor of the inks and we will do that. Um, yes, Nancy, uh, Transfer Express is doing a webinar on January 27th in which you could buy a box of samples and press along with them. And that's what I'm talking about. We have our toaster transfers. It's coming up uh, and I'm going to see if uh, Mike behind the scenes could leave a link for the toast to transfers pressing kit but it's essentially a webinar just like this that we have live we're able to interact with you guys um and uh we press along so we're going to show you how you could use a mouse pad to print you'll get a mouse pad included in the kit you get a hoodie you get a t-shirt you get a baby bib man that's something we didn't even talk about today is the accessories for babies wow uh blame me for that one we should have talked about these accessories and the bibs and all of that extra stuff that you could print uh, even the backpacks and bags, uh, the, the backpack that my daughter takes to daycare every single day, uh, I put a print on it to say her name because it needs to stand out. And so uh, the other kids don't put stuff in there or take things out, <laughs> as we'll say. I know somebody was asking about... Um, here, uh, the vendors. So Transfer Express Apparel, we do carry Rabbit Skins. Rabbit Skins is a specific infant brand from uh, from LAT Apparel. Uh, and so it's all onesies and toddler stuff. Um, I think even like the full rompers and jumpers, they have a whole line of. I know they expanded it in, in recent years as kind of LAT Apparel has grown uh, much larger than they used to be. Uh, love that cotton. Abso a lot of those uh, dresses that we were showing the uh, pajamas we picked up at Love That Cotton. And of course, Bayou Blanks. Down on the bayou, I believe they're from Louisiana um, and or Mississippi. We uh, we ran into them at the Everything Embroidery Market show in Biloxi, Mississippi. So um, they were awesome to help us out with some garments. We actually bought a whole bunch because we were like, wow, these are great. They print great. Um, and we could use them for samples for stuff like this in this webinar. Um, but that's it. That's all I got for you guys today. If you have any questions, leave them over here in the chat section, and we're going to try to answer them the best we can before we wrap everything up. Uh, but I hope you guys feel empowered now uh, to go out there and feel confident making baby apparel. Um, and the youth shirts, you can see the profit margins that are in decorated here for you guys. Um, and and the Etsy stores, the big cartels, even if you're just posting them on Facebook Marketplace, you could see. Um, Show, Shokira, I hope I pronounced that right. Uh, how often are Toaster Transfers webinars done? We do them every quarter. So last year we started uh in quarter two so we did a, a fourth of july themed one we did a tailgate themed one where we printed a stadium seat L like a stadium seat you could carry with the pads in it that uh like that if you're sitting on bleachers for a long game and your and your bum starts to fall asleep and you could bring a stadium seat with you with a backrest we put goof proof on one of those so that's the beauty of the toaster to transfers is you could feel empowered in a kind of guided session uh, to get more confidence in printing the items that you never thought you could decorate with a heat press. So that's why we're doing the bib. We're doing a hoodie. And we're going to do a weird placement on the hoodie uh, where you're going to have to, at least for some people with larger heat presses, you're going to have to avoid the seams. And we're going to show you how you do that. Spoiler alert, it's with the mouse pads. But like I said, we include all the transfers. We throw in some extra goodies. And it's casual. Bring your favorite drink. It's like a wine and paint night. 
but you get to sit at home, join us live in a very similar forum just like this uh, and be able to, uh, you know, interact with us. Uh, Irma, you're very welcome. Thank you, uh, Fred, Frida, Freda, Frida, for and Clarence for, uh, for hanging out with us today. Um, Molly says, is Ultra Color Max available to order at TE yet or just stalls? Just stalls right now. Uh, you could upload your own artwork uh, and then um, it will be available next week at Transfer Express. We cannot wait. Um, will there be a stalls booth at a trade show anywhere in the Southeast, Alabama, Jordan, or Mississippi, Tennessee, anytime soon? Um, I believe we are uh, going to be down in Texas uh, at the end of this month. So that's pretty close. Um, maybe back in Mississippi for the everything embroidery. Um, I believe we have a show. Uh, I'm going to have to get back to you on that. Um, we, I, we do have an everything embroidery market in uh, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. So that one's going to be coming up. I don't know exact dates on that, um, but yes, it's coming. Uh, Midwest, anywhere, North Dakota. We're going to be in Colorado, uh, and then uh, that's not really near North Dakota. <laughs> uh, St. Louis, there's the Decorated Apparel Expo and the Graphics Pro Expo. I believe that comes to St. Louis. That's probably the closest we're going to be getting. Uh, I, I This year, they discontinued the Decorated Apparel Expo uh, in Minnesota. So that was really kind of where we usually did January 21st in Texas. Yep. Yep. Um, no, January 21st in, uh, Long Beach, California, but I believe the graphics pro expo series kicks off in Irving, Texas, uh, coming up very soon after that. You can check all of the, um, all of those dates, if you just go to transferexpress.com, scroll all the way to the bottom and uh, click on events. Uh, so Diane, we are, I know we have the Graphics Pro Expo in Irving. We have the Impression Show coming up in Fort Worth. Um, so that kind of Dallas, Fort Worth area, we're going to be back uh, several times this year if you if you miss us. The North, we have Chicago Land, uh, the Decorated Apparel Expo, and I believe Graphics Pro in Indianapolis in June. Um, but there is a full list of shows. You can see it all at transferexpress.com. But I want to thank you guys so much for hanging out. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube, head on over to subscribe to our YouTube and our blog. Uh, and of course, we're always doing these webinars twice a month. And make sure you get that Toast to Transfers pressing kit if you want to join us at the end of this month, that's January 27th, uh, and it's all St. Patrick's Day themed. So we get you set up with some examples that you could pitch to your customers, your clients, um, anything, anything that you want to use with it, or just have some cool samples for yourself and your family. You get to pick your size. We have small through extra large available. So you can pick the size of hoodie and t-shirt that you'll get. It's a great opportunity for then immediately after the event, you could take a picture of it. We saw a whole bunch of people share stuff on social media saying, hey, guys, now I have this available. Get, get geared up for St. Patrick's Day or get geared up for football season or get geared up for the 4th of July, whichever one we were doing. Uh, and then we did a holiday one, too, where we like printed on blankets and a whole bunch of Christmas stuff. Um, and then we'll even put the gang sheet up on Easy View Online Designer. So if you like the designs, you could customize them for yourself, your family, your city, your customers, anything you want. And you can print that same stuff, but you could use it as an example the day after January 28th and say, hey guys, now's the time to be thinking about getting ready for your St. Patrick's Day gear. Uh, let me custom print it for you. And then boom, you're showing off your capabilities with just a kit that's worth the apparel and transfers alone. Uh, we do not mark them up whatsoever and shipping is included. Uh, we just want to equip you guys with the knowledge and the confidence uh, to get this stuff rolling. But um, that's going to be it for me today. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope to see you soon. Uh, and um, if you are in the California um, Impressions Expo in Fort Worth, was great, Kathy. It was so nice meeting you out there. And if you guys are at yeah, ASI in Texas this weekend, um, if you guys are uh, in the California area, Impressions in Long Beach, Southern California, right south of L.A. I know things are kind of crazy, but we're going to be super safe. Uh, everything that we could do. Uh, just super safe. Uh, uh, you got to test at the door, or have a vaccine card with you, and everybody's going to be wearing masks. And we just we want to get back out there and show you guys the brand new Ultra Color Max. We'll demo the brand new Easy View Online Designer that's coming out next week too. There's just so much going on that we want to show you guys, um, and we want to be here to support you and your t-shirt business. But I appreciate your dedication for hanging out today, bettering your business, bettering your brand. Um, and yes, uh, we'll see you guys soon. All right. Happy pressing until then.